Let me tell you something about my wife, pal. She tends to agree with the last person she spoke to. You're saying that your wife doesn't have a mind of her own. I'm saying one of you bastards put this garbage in her head. Oh. The truth is, pal, we never considered this. Because it's sick! Calm down. Calm! No one's saying you're... Damn it, I can't even say the words! Do you hunt, Mr. Stone? That's irrelevant. That's where you're wrong. There's a moment when you're hiding in the brush, a deer picking berries off a tree, now 50 yards from you. It's like the world stops. All that exists. Two souls, the hunter and the hunted. You try not to breathe, but the deer, he hears your heart beating, the blood running through the fingers folded around the trigger. He looks up. An instant of silence, slow time. The first to flinch loses. I've served in the military. I've built a business up from nothing by myself. Enough, John. My point is, I don't flinch. They're Sam's. They're the ones that he was wearing the night you raped him. And you should know that they have your DNA on them. Without corroboration, they're meaningless. And unlike my wife, my boy has a mind of his own. 